Hey guys, it's Nicholas here from UpgradeToLife.com and welcome to this new quote of the week video. And I'm sure you will definitely enjoy this one because this is about action, what do you do, what should you focus on and yeah, it's a really interesting one. So with that, let's just dive right into this week's quote. So Neville said, I do not assume the responsibility for making anything so after I have identified myself with the state that I desire, I let it be so. It may take a day or a week or a month. I see what I want to see and then I let it be true. I do not lift the finger to make it true, for how can I discuss it when it is already so? Whenever you have imagined yourself as you want to be and you have felt the thrill of it, the outer being has to move through these through all these states to fulfill it. Okay, so let's talk about this step by step and you get the most benefit out of this quote. Now, I think the, the beginning is already remarkable and amazing because right now I realize that I do not assume the responsibility for, for making anything. So I don't even like I don't even like think that, that I have to do anything, that I have to, you know, um worry about the ways, worry about the means, worry about the bridge, worry about the unfolding, that I have to, you know, that I even have the responsibility to to create something, to make something happen. He realized, no, this is not even what I assume. This is not my job. This is not my focus. This is not uh, what I can, you know, interfere with and where my focus should be, right? After I have identified myself with the state that I desire, I let it be so, right? Meaning, if you identify with the state that you desire, right? Everything is a state. You are right now in a state and your desires, they're basically also representing a state and you can uh, make this new state so natural that, again, this is just obvious to you and normal for you and it expresses through you, then this is the only thing that you have to do, right? But you don't have to worry about how exactly things will unfold and exactly how things will, will manifest. So it may take a day, or a week or a month, right? People get tripped up on this, like how long is it going to take? What if it takes 10 years? What if, um, you know, yeah, I, I can't enjoy my life in between and all of this nonsense. But first of all, if you really shift into your end state and this feels natural and normal within yourself, then you are already fulfilled because you, you live in the fulfillment, you live in the state of the wish fulfilled. So this question will not arise. When are things going to happen? This question is only going to arise if you're not fully living in your end state. Because if you would, you could not ask when and how. So use this as an as an indication where you stand within. And also, usually from, from my experiences, from what I see people experience if they apply those principles, it does not take like years over years and stuff like that. So it's really, you know, it's, it's obviously like different for each desire. Every desire has its own appointed hour, but usually it, it happens on, on, in a normal manner, right? And if you look back, you would say, oh, yeah, this would have happened anyway, sure. But it would have not. It happened because you shifted in that state you make the shift in consciousness and then the bridge sort of to unfold. But don't be concerned about that, right? Some, some things go really quick, some things might take a week, some things might take a month, but who really cares about that if you know that it always works, right? So I see what I want to see, meaning I imagine the scene that implies I already have it, I internally experience the, the fulfillment, the, the state of the wish fulfilled, right? I feel the relief, the knowing that it's done, and then I let it be true, right? You do not interfere with it. You do not think, oh, how, how, how can I speed it up? The only thing that you can do, the only thing that in a sense you can control is how fast a state feels natural, meaning how you know easily you shift into it, how easily it is for you to assume that you have it. That is in a sense the only thing you can control, but exactly how the state manifests, you cannot control that. And I want to just be like straight honest with you is that it's not even your responsibility to worry about that. So just accept that and do what is your responsibility, which is to go straight to the end, but more on that later in this quote. So now comes an amazing part, which is I do not lift the finger to make it true. Right? You do, do not, it's not that you like you, you imagine once and then you sit there and you think, oh, okay, what, what do I do now? Okay, let's go. What are the steps that I'm going to take right now? This like kind of forced action, this is not coming from your state, so it won't produce the results that you want. So shift within first, and then the action follows automatically from that shift within. Someone that is in a lack state, but wants there for money, and then they, you know, work out business strategies and, 
you know, wanting to win the lottery and doing this, doing that, even if they get the money and they have not shifted within in a, in a more wealthy and abundant state, they will lose it again. They won't produce great ideas from an intellectual state. So I do not lift a finger, right, I, to, to make it true for how can I discuss it when it is already so? Meaning if you are already in the end state, you cannot discuss or ask someone, how will I be let there? What is going to happen? No, this question completely falls away because you live inwardly, internally from the wish fulfilled. And whenever you have imagined yourself as you want to be and you have felt the thrill of it, meaning you have reached this point of satisfaction, you have reached a point which Neville calls the Sabbat, like this this, this phase of knowing, this, pe this state of mental rest, of peace, of absolute relaxation where you don't need to do any more work, any more techniques, any more application because it's just like you exploded the idea within you, you know it's done and you go on with your life and that is when things naturally show up, right? When you have felt that, then the outer being, which is like your, your human self, um, has to move through all these states to fulfill it. It has to move through a bridge because this is a rule of life. This is the law of assumption. This is a law which no one can escape is that your inner state has to be mirrored back from the from, from the mirror, from, from this world, from events, from people, from circumstances, from everything, right? It is a mirror of your state and it has to reflect your state. So that's what this is about, right? The only thing you have to do is shift that state, right? And there are many amazing ways to do so. I explain them all on my channel. So watch my other videos if you want to learn more about that. But I'm sure you already have an idea of how this works. Every state is available. Every state is in creation. And you just like decide where you want to move into. So it's not your job to, to you know, change the room. No, you like to change your current room. No, you shift into the room where things are already as you want them to be. That's the only that's your only duty, that's your only job as to operant power, right? But think about the saying, my ways are higher than yours, right? I, I have ways that you know not of, meaning your awareness, your true self has ways of, of like, in a sense, moving you where you think, oh yeah, of course, now I, I do this. Now I go shopping at six o'clock instead of, you know, five o'clock and then you meet this person and then this happens. You, do, you don't do this consciously. This just happens through you. Right, so you, you have to trust in that in a sense. So this is it for this week's quote, right? Key sentence, basically, I do not lift the finger to make it true, right? This does not mean, again, I want to make this clear, this does not mean that you won't take any action, that you just sit in your room, locked in your room, and, you know, magically everything will appear. No, not like that. You will shift internally and then you will be led automatically to do this action. You will have this thought coming up from the new state, this idea, this, um, you know, uh, this. you will do this action automatically then based on the thought. And this is all this, this, this whole bridge of events that leads you so that the outer man, the outer you stands where the inner you already is. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below as always. And I look forward to speak to you in the next video. Bye, guys.